So why is it that we're so passionate about cars? Have you thought about it? Here's a better question. Why is it that 90% of the people that we meet on the street cannot possibly begin to understand why a cool car driving by can so quickly capture our undivided attention? The lines of the car, the sounds of the engine, the electronics, the history, they're meaningless to them. So the burning question is, what is it that makes the difference? Why is it that cars play such an important role in our lives and to the rest of the world, they're almost meaningless? You know what I mean? Well, in all seriousness, I've come to the conclusion that there is a car crazy gene that, <laughs> yeah, that is found in a small portion of the population. And that this gene lies dormant within us until it's stimulated by an external force. And for most of us, that external force was our parents. For others, it was an uncle or a cousin. For some, it was an older sister's boyfriend who had a cool car. <laughs> for Bill Smith, who we're honoring tonight as the person of the year for the car hobby, it started when his mom put him outside in a playpen in the front yard, which just happened to be right next door to a one pump service station. And I know you'll find this hard to believe, but he will tell you with great conviction how clearly he remembers that the, looking at the lines of those cars and listening to their engines ignited his car crazy gene as a toddler. Now think about it. I mean, there doesn't seem to me to be any other explanation. Why else would some people respond and other people not respond to the very same stimulus? I believe that those who do respond were created with a car crazy gene. <laughs> okay, I know you're laughing. You think this is a big joke, but it's not. I have scientific evidence to back this up. I was so convinced of this being true that we funded a major study at one of the nation's leading universities. And the results are so amazing that they're going to be published in next month's edition of the American Journal of Medicine. Now, the study reports that car crazy genes actually do exist in about 10% of the world's population. And the, and the only reason they haven't been discovered up to this point is because nobody ever looked for them until we funded this in-depth research. And while we don't have time to show you this exhaustive and conclusive report, we do want to take the time to show you what an actual car crazy gene looks like. Thanks to electromolecular imaging, which has just become available in the last few months, we can show you for the very first time what a DNA strand looks like that contains a car crazy gene. And the evidence is beyond reproach. I mean, you don't have to be a doctor to clearly identify this as being a car crazy gene. And it's also contagious. <laughs> 